Hello everybody, welcome to my newest DVD update and it's Blu-ray update as well. Um, this one's going to be kind of long because I have that much stuff to go through. Um, <clears throat> excuse me if I did show any of this off. I'm not very sure if I did show how much of this I actually showed it off or not yet. Um, oh, there's a lot of it I know I haven't, like a good percentage of it, but there's a couple of titles here and there I'm not very sure on. But anyways, um, let's get on with this. Uh, and sorry that I'm doing it this way, it's just I have so many tiles to go through, I just want to get through it a little bit quicker than normal. Uh, the first one is Stanley Superhumans. This show is basically about, uh, they have uh, the world's, uh, like, I think it's most stretchiest man or most bendable man. Um, Daniel Browning Smith, uh, he's, yeah, he's the world's most flexible man. They have him go... Stan Lee has him go around to like these different, uh, diff all different parts of the world looking for the people who have uh, superhuman abilities. And uh, some of them are pretty cool, some are just uh, not, not as great. Uh, I think actually one of them, I haven't got to watch that, the actual segment of it. There's one guy I think I heard of that jumps from like a certain height onto like, into, like a pool of water. Uh, into a shallow pool of water. And actually if I'm right, he just uh, showed on America's Got Talent just recently. Uh, pretty cool show. Definitely well worth the watch. I believe you can actually watch on Netflix now, which is pretty cool. Uh, the next one is I Saw the Devil. It's the unrated edition. I've heard a lot of good things about this movie. Um, I actually have not got to watch much of it. I've got to watch probably about the first half an hour. It's actually over two hours long, the film is. Um, I just got tired that night, so I just decided to stop it. I actually need to sit down and have a time where I can actually watch it fully through so I can actually thoroughly enjoy it. The next one is, uh, this actually comes out sometime in July, I think July 12th. It's uh, Mr. Skin Presents Women in Prison Triple Feature, Chained Heat, uh, Red Heat, and Jungle Warriors. I have not got to watch any of these yet. I've heard, I've heard about this one before, and I think I've heard about this one before. Um, very, very interesting looking films. Uh, the thing about this set is, is um, after 2011, this set, after it comes out, uh, at the end of 2011, it will be out of print. Just so you know. So if you're into those type of films, I definitely suggest you picking that one up. Next one I got was uh, Long Dream, which I will have a review up for on my website very soon. Uh, actually, probably later on today. Um, I'll try to leave links to anything I've actually reviewed yet uh, for my website. Next one is Sledgehammer. Um, I don't think I showed this one off yet, but I can't quite remember. I don't think I have, but nonetheless, it's uh, everybody knows about this film. Um, not much really to say about it. What's cool is it does have a really dirty look, grimy look to it. Um, you know, but of course, yeah, how, what, what are you supposed to really polish up? Uh, next one is Savage County. I guess this has something to do with MTV New Media. People voted on this movie. I haven't got to watch it yet, but um, looks interesting. Um, kind of looks like a typical backwoods type of slasher killer type film. Next one is uh, I got this at Walmart for like five bucks. The main reason why I got this, honestly, is for uh, Phantasm 2, because if you buy a Phantasm 2 alone, it's usually about, I think, like 10 bucks at Best Buy. After I didn't own uh, Fun House, which I'd been really wanting to see, I owned Serpent in the Rainbow, and I did not own S. So, I figured 5 bucks, why not? And I actually turned around and sold my older copy of Serpent in the Rainbow, and I think I sold it for like 5 or 6 bucks on eBay, so I actually made my money back on that. Uh, these next two actually were sent to me by MGM. Uh, they're part of the MGM limited edition collection. I think you guys have seen some of those other ones before I've shown. And that is Old Dracula, which actually, if I'm right, has Playboy models actually in this movie. Uh, I think this movie was made... What year is it? Let me see. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not finding an actual here when it was actually released but I know it's in the 70s if I'm right um I started watching it can't really get into it I think it's supposed to be more of a comedy but yeah it's old Dracula 
Uh, and then the other one is Charlton Heston in Call of the Wild, which uh, I have seen this before, but it's been quite a while. It was really good when last time I seen it that I can remember of. Uh, next one is Trancers. It's the uh, cult classics trilogy. Um, this one was actually sent by Echo Bridge to me. It is on a flipper disc, just so everyone knows. Uh, I don't know if like the other ones... I think they're actually releasing all three of them individually, which I think they shouldn't be on the flipper disc for that. But nonetheless, uh, pretty cool trilogy. I actually wouldn't mind pick, picking up one that actually full, full moon uh, release, because then I won't have the flipper disc thing. Uh, next one is Days Confused. I actually got this for a really, really, really good deal. I think I paid like $10 for it, 10 11 bucks. Um, what, what more can I say? It's a great film. The Criterion Collection is the one to buy of it. It, it looks great. It has some awesome special features. Actually, it has special features compared to the other older, I think, uh, Universal Disc. Um, it has a book with it. Uh, if you guys want to see anything more about this, then I will take it out and everything. And I'll just do a separate video about it. Just let me know. Next one is The Willies, which was also sent to me by Echo, Echo Bridge. Uh, to review and um, this is just a classic film for me because I grew up watching this one um, it was one more more of my first type of horror films to really ever watch and the thing is it it, it seems like it was, was made more for kids or at least like even a little bit more older kids because it it was very campy very goofy uh, the two main stories in it Besides, like, the little ones about, like, the dog being put in, like, the uh, microwave, the old man dying uh, when he went to a haunted house. Besides that stuff, the other two movies, um, like, they do have more to it than what you'd ever think. Uh, they are a little bit graphic, not that graphic. But uh, I do highly suggest you check out this movie. And I think it came out in, like, 1990, and it actually stars one of, uh, it stars Donkey Lips from... Uh, uh, salute your shorts. Uh, the next one is Cyrus, Mind of a Serial Killer. This one's, I think, coming out from Anchor Bay. I'm not sure exactly when. It's sometime soon. Uh, so I watched this as uh, Brian Krauss, which I'm not very familiar with. Uh, Daniel Harris, of course, um, from the Halloween films. And uh, Lance Hendrickson, which, of course, I've been a fan of his since I ever seen since I first seen uh, Aliens. Um back in the day. Actually, that was the first one I've seen of all the Alien films. But nonetheless, uh, I started watching this last night. It seemed pretty cool so far. There's some really bad dialogue at times, but that's using, that's not necessarily on the part of, like, the uh, main characters. That's actually more on the part of, like, in ways secondary type characters and everything. But, nonetheless, pretty cool movie so far. Uh, I will be finishing up later on today. Nope. Next one is Stripperland. Uh, I have not got to see this. Looks interesting. Um, I'll definitely have to let you guys know what I think about that after I watch it. Uh, I think. Oh, yeah. Let's see. These next ones are from uh, one seven movies. Well, I have another one in the pile, but I'm just not going to go through it to try to get it out of there. Uh, the first one is Transgression, which I have not watched yet. Looks interesting. Uh, it's a Joe D'Amato film, Sexy Pirates, Sex and Black Magic, which is another Joe D'Amato film, and then um, Alien from the Deep. All right, I'll give. I gotta take a break for a moment, but I'll be right back. All right, everybody, sorry about that, but yeah, Alien from the Deep was the last one I left off on. Uh, this one I actually started watching it. It's pretty cool so far. Um, uh, I can't remember exactly all the cast, but um, there's one guy in here I really like. That I've seen in like a ton of movies. I just can't think of his name. Uh, but nonetheless, good movies. Uh, well, at least this one so far. Uh, Sex and Black Magic I really want to watch. Actually, sometime soon because it looks pretty cool. Uh, next one is Tetsuo, The Bullet Man. This is the third in the trilogy of the Tetsuo movies. Um... Definitely, definitely check it out if you're into those type of films. It's very much shot like the other ones, like I said in my review on the DVD fiends. Um, but it's in English, and uh, the main character is uh, an American type. Uh, it's an American man. 
Uh, this one actually will be reviewing on the DVD themes for tomorrow, but I figure, of course I'm going to have it in my DVD update. And uh, Exorcismus, I think that's how you say it, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, interesting movie about um, this uh, girl who becomes possessed by a demon, and yeah, I'm not really going to say much more on it right here, but you'll see more on it in my uh, update. I'm still kind of split on the movie. I think, I, I, in ways, I, I wouldn't. Uh, you, you know what? I might say it more. You'll see more on my uh, update. If you, I mean, on my uh, review, if you watch on the DVD feeds. Next one is Blood Oath. I'm not got to watch yet. It's a Tromo release. Maybe pretty cool. They've been releasing a lot of different stuff like that. So next one, uh, it's called Adua and her friends. It, I got it from Railroad Video. They send it to me, and I got to watch it yet. It actually, does have a slipcase, but I have it well put away, so I don't get it messed up as much. Uh, next one, this one, oh, the movie actually does suck. But this is another different version, actually, just different name on it, of it. But it has an interesting cover: blood sucking Nazi zombies, which is actually Oasis of the Dead, or Oasis of the Zombies. I can't remember which one. Nonetheless horrible movie. This is like the worst transfer I've ever seen of that movie. Yeah. Definitely stay away from it. Next one is Night Trap. Which got also sent to me by Echo Bridge. Uh, pretty cool movie actually. Um, definitely highly recommend it. If you get a chance to definitely check it out. Um, next one. Black Death. Pretty cool movie. Um, I think it was put out by Magnolia Pictures. Magnolia Films, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I could suggest it to people. I would just definitely suggest you check it out. Uh, next one is 36 pre pre 36 Precinct, which got sent to me by Tarden. Have not got to see it. Looks interesting. So next one is from IFC Films. It's White Lightning. Um, if you if you know who Jessica White is, then I uh, in your interest in learning more about him, or actually no you. No, actually, you wouldn't really learn much more about him, actually, honestly. But, nonetheless, it's a movie based on uh, Jessica White. Uh, he's pretty much, I think it was considered the uh, the uh, uh, Dancing Outlaw or something like that. Interesting movie, though. Very, uh, I definitely recommend that to anyone who knows anything about him. Next one is Brave Star Complete Series. Um... Not too bad of a show. Um, I remember why I remember like checking this out earlier when I was well, a lot, a lot not just earlier, but a while back when I was younger, uh, and I remember liking it, and it was just cool to revisit this one again. Uh, this one's put out by Mill Creek, actually. Very very cool. Next one is Corporate Cutthroat Slasher. Have not got to see it yet. Looks interesting. Same thing with this one. Haven't I got to see it yet, but it does look interesting as well. It's a Psycho Holocaust. Kind of like cover. I don't know why. Uh, next one. Ancient Aliens Season 2. I loved Season 1. I just have not got to watch Season 2 yet. Um, really cool show. Alright, here's another one from 1-7 Movies. It is The Real Cannibal Holocaust. Um, pretty interesting Mondo film. Uh, honestly, from the cover, you would think that would be more like an actual cannibal holocaust, like maybe rip off or something, but no, it's not. It's it's a Mondo film. Um, if you want to know more about it, just look up online. There's there's you can find a good amount of uh, information on it. Next one is the Wild Hunt. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that one. I didn't really care for it, honestly. I thought it was, I don't know, just was not my te my cup of tea. Uh, I don't know if I can really suggest that to anyone. Alright. Next one is Underwater Universe. Very, very cool uh, show that uh, History Channel had out. Um, there's actually one part of there that I really enjoyed. It was about, uh, I think, like the dangerous, I mean, the most dangerous animals in, like, the water or whatever. Very cool. So next two I actually got from a YouTuber on here. Um, I actually paid, well, it was $20 total. I got, I was, 
I'm supposed to be having three movies. Uh, he forgot to send out one of them. I'm just waiting on the other one to come in the mail. But I got it was twenty dollars to total, and I got uh, Murder Collection Volume One, which is of course signed by the cast and crew, and then Mask Head. I have not got to watch them yet, but I will watch them very soon. Uh, and the other one I'm supposed to be getting is Evil Ed. I'm just waiting for it. Um, next one is Killer Yacht Party. Put out by Trauma. Have not got to see it yet. Eyes of the Chameleon. Also put out by Trauma. Have not got to watch one yet either. And then you got AKA Tommy Chong. Very, very cool documentary. It talks about uh, the stuff that Tommy Chong went through when uh, he got uh, charged with uh, selling paraphernalia or whatever. It, it was stupid as hell what they did to him. But very, very good documentary. Highly recommend that one. And then we got a movie called He. And I got to watch this one yet, but it looks interesting. It's by uh, Creep Creeperson. I actually have another one of his that I'm that uh, I actually 